word from the 3rd Division. I'm putting together a relief mission as we speak. Report to the Command Division as soon as you can. Yes, sir. Commander Fay of Outpost 11, reporting in. All right, that's everybody. Let's begin. As you know, the 3rd Division has been silent ever since they arrived at the border woodland to avoid detection by the Mechanos. Recon elements have re-established communications as of two days ago. Outposts 2 and 6 have breached the enemy's containment and are headed for the main base. We should hear back from them in five days when they're expected to enter the windy desert. Outpost 7 is going for a round trip to the eastern wing of the border woodland for a scheduled recovery mission. Miriam, Matthew, your mission is to provide support for Outpost 2 and 6's withdrawal and eliminate any pursuing enemies. Roland and Alex, you two will be tasked with capturing the base station in the border woodland and protecting Outpost 7's resupply on their way back. In addition, Outpost 7 will be airlifting non-combat personnel and research data that will contribute greatly to our war efforts. Commander Fang, remain on standby in the base and await updates from the air. Roger, Roger that! I can't believe they just told me to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. Perhaps there is a more proactive alternative. What are you... This is the only 3D human model I could find within the Outpost Commander's field manual. I really don't want to find out who that belonged to. The note says this appearance will increase the mission's chances of success. <laughs> Perhaps. What do you suggest? My algorithms allow me to identify enemy communication signals. Once I decode them, we'll learn about every enemy movement within the border woodland area. Excellent. What should I do? Connect me to the base network. I will start a search query with the combat logs. Request sent. Access denied. Optimizing bandwidth restrictions. Warning, network intrusion detected. Origin has been traced to the command terminal of Outpost 11. What? I regret to inform you that I have been blocked by a firewall. Search terminated. What's going on, Faye? Uh, I wanted to check the combat log. Get a better look on the current situation. 
The moment you jacked into the base's network, we began detecting thousands of commands being issued. Any thoughts on that? Uh... I guess I'm onto something. Commander Fay, I am currently under remote data attack from the intelligence center within the base. Video and voice transmission will be unavailable. So you and this thing were behind the attack just then? It's a little complicated. She was just trying to help me. She's on our side. Don't you dare forget! Steel was also originally created to protect mankind. Listen closely. No matter how close they get, AIs are not and never will be human. EUA should only trust each other, and certainly not some soulless AI who doesn't even have a name! Juliet. The name is Juliet. Shit. Cut the power to Outpost 11. I'm gonna turn this thing into scrap. As for you, I'll deal with you later. If that's what you want, you might as well dismiss me of my command this instant. Ha! <laughs> You're bold. I'll give you that at least. Um... Juliet? Greetings, Commander. I apologize for the inappropriate outburst earlier. <laughs> I didn't think you had the balls to put a boot up Levi's ass. That was quite a show. They want to keep an eye on you. So the control core must remain inside the base. This way, the EUA will be able to terminate me at their discretion. I won't let that happen. I appreciate your trust and support, Commander. I do not see a fault in the EUA's logic. Moreover, this does not change the camaraderie between us. You are absolutely right, my comrade. Also, there's no need for formality. Just call me Faye. All right. Faye. Any news from Outpost 7, Levi? Bad news, I'm afraid. We've lost contact with Outpost 7. Its transponder has been pinging the same location for 36 hours now. We're expecting the worst. The last known location for the transport is located within the Dagger Canyon, near the border woodland. You're to locate the downed airlift. I will send Bruce to help you out. I can handle it myself, Levi. No. You'll be heading in blind. You're gonna need the support. Bruce has been in charge of Outpost 1 in my stead for a long time. If anyone's gonna make sure you come back in one piece, it's him. He's already scouting out the area. Come when you're ready. Ready. We're going in.
Captain John. Commander Faye, you've already kicked up quite a storm in the few ops you've joined. Apologies, Captain. There's no place for apologies in the field, especially not from a commander. Your responsibility is to make the right call. I'll keep that in mind, Captain. All comms to the ship were lost in the canyon up ahead. Flight logs show no indication of Aitos or airborne attacks. Which means they might have run into another kind of trouble. The same as us. The outpost can't breach the canyon, but we can. On foot. You take the front line. I'll provide cover fire from the rear. Copy that. What's the hold up? The fallen terrain's blocking off our projected route. And without explosives, we can't clear it. Hang fire, Captain. I'm calling in another ship now. You are more than welcome to do so. If you can identify the cause of the target transport's crash and ensure the safety of our transport first. Do I need to remind you who was on board that transport, Captain? Director Tracy Grant, head of Outpost 7's tech archives. And someone you hold dear. The EUA needs her just as you do. I'll look for her, but my priority is to retrieve the research materials. Hey, you listen to me! Who was that, Captain? Murray Grant, from the Intelligence Division. A capable, if hot-headed, officer. All right, let's keep moving. Our way's blocked. We need to find another route via the mouth of the canyon, ASAP. Jump! A liquid nitrogen leak from the wreckage has frozen the gate shut. Take this. Sense? Just how many did you bring? Inject the pyros in and thaw out the doors. Our signal's blocked in the canyon. Comms going dark in three mics. We'll just have to communicate the old-fashioned way.
Jean, are those? Stay put and stay frosty. Those sweepers are all out of power, but their weapon attachments might still come in handy. Here, kid up. should be inside. You retrieve it, I'll hold the perimeter. That is right here, and still intact. Zhang, what have you found? It's a Seth V part. A model from two decades back, designed for human use. Let's leave the details for the debrief. Right now, we need to stay sharp. Copy that. This must be the place. Huh? Survivors? Battle stations! What the? So 
so they're the ones who brought down our ship. Appears so. Without their identifiers, our radars can't see them at all. More tangos incoming. Head for the exit, Commander. I'll take the rear. It's an ambush! Faye, cover me! Shit, it's Cryo Zen! I can't move! Take the research and get out of here! Captain John! Remember, Commander, make the right call! What? Faye, I've hacked the enemy network. EUA comms should be back online. Our AI just sent me your combat log, Faye. Sir, I'm sorry. Zhang was... Don't let his sacrifice be in vain. We'll take it from here. Engaging with humans is never simple. But now that we know what we're dealing with, we can prepare ourselves. Take the trail to the south of the canyon. It'll lead you to Outpost 11. Then we can scramble a ship for your extraction. We estimate there to be no survivors. Copy that. Commander, I'm picking up weak vital signs from the cabin wreckage up ahead. Roger that. Are you EUA? Affirmative, ma'am. Commander Fay of Outpost 11. Director Tracy Grant. Report to base, Juliet. We've got a survivor. Can you walk? Yeah, I, I think. We've got new human hostiles across the area, Director Tracy. I fear they gunned down your ship. They call themselves... the Envoy. You know who they are? They searched the cabin, but I didn't realize I was still alive, thankfully. And then what? I passed out. For who knows how long. Game two, just before you got here. All right, come on. I'll get you out of here. Captain Zhang found a part left by those enemies, Juliet. Model Seth-5. Mean anything to you? Seth-5 is a cerebral interface that links a human mind to a computer. Many synced their minds with SEAL in the days before the war, believing it the next step in their evolution. Yet the burden of the neural link proved to be too much for a human mind. Over time, the practice petered out. A burden that many were willing to bear, it seems. People want to join the winning side. Not everyone's with the EUA, after all.
Right. How can I clear this debris, Juliet? You're out of Outpost 11's range. Find explosives nearby and set a charge. Good thinking. Retreat to a safe distance and shoot the explosives. Step back, please, Director. Intelligence Division. I'm with Director Tracy. We're on our way into... Don't move another inch! Do you copy? What's your problem now? Stay put and look up! Unknown object heading straight for your 20, Commander. Director, get back! Your ride's on its way, Faye. Clear up the hostels and head to the LZ. Director Tracy? The ship's here. Let's go, Commander. Your ride's on its way, Faye. Clear out the hostels and head to the LZ.
Chang. Mission accomplished. The preliminary scan of the border woodland is complete. The Mechanos are using drop pods from the RSS-2 to send nebulas into combat. They're humanoid monsters bred by SEAL for war. Their physiology might be strong, but they appear not to be very clever. Also, a new faction of SEAL worshippers has been popping up in the area. They call themselves the Envoy. Most of them have undergone cybernetic transplants. Their wits make them a deadlier foe than those mindless monsters. We're in the dark until we get a better picture. We've got to link up with Outpost 7 ASAP. Now do your preparation and wait for my call. Faye, the command division has just activated a new module. Check it out. authorized to participate in the combined operation. As per the Hive EUA Cooperation Treaty, you may now join forces with other militant groups to fight together. You can initiate an invite or join an existing group. Hello? Is this Faye? You again? Shut it! Come to the Intelligence Center. Find the spot with the largest screen. Hey, you're back. When will you head out for another battle? Well, spit it out. This here is the risk analysis system. It collects and builds automated models so you always have a reliable source of real-time battlefield intel. All right. Got it. Hey, I'm not done yet. Come back and check this out. Here is a list of all encounters and risks you have run into. It's always better to know about your enemies before you head into battle. Why is there so little information available? You understand the concept of analysis? What am I supposed to analyze if you haven't brought me any data? Go to the surface and collect some. So I must first stick my hand into the fire to learn more about it, is that how it is? Of course! Each entry we have in the EUA database has been traded for half a dozen lives. Now all we need to do is take the risk once and save a ton of lives. Wait! Hold on. What is it now? If you ever need to hack into something or break some encryption, come to me and I'll help you out. So helpful now. Are you the same person from the last transmission? You know what? If it weren't for you and Bruce... Look, I'm just happy you brought Tracy back. That's why I... He's just trying to say thank you. Shut up! Where's that personnel data I asked for? But I haven't slept in two days! Then you better get your ass to work if you want to! That's the list of local operatives done.
new mission has just come in. We're tasked with the elimination of an enemy apostle. Apostles are cunning enemies. They only come out and attack the fleet when we are trying to recover high value resources. You're heading to the border woodland. Once there, recover enough resources to lure out the apostle and then eliminate the target on recovery day. I suggest equipping a 30 millimeter light gun to the outpost. This will give us a tactical advantage.